Hey, YouTube people. I'm making you a quick little video here. This is my Blooming Owl wall hanging. It's brand new. I'm excited to share it with you guys. I designed it so that you actually crochet here and the rows go this way so that there's automatically fringe at the bottom unless you're doing interlocking crochet. Then you'll have to add your own fringe. But with mosaic, because you already have tails, it just puts it at the bottom. A lot of my other wall hangings, it puts them on the side, which is kind of fun too because then it it, um, I don't know, it just looks cool on the sides. But for this one, I specifically wanted it on the top and the bottom so that the bottom could be fringe for decoration. And the top, I could put my dowel, I could tie it here. But it's not just, it's not just as simple as that. I did a few trial and errors and I thought I better tell people so that they don't have to do the same thing. So make sure that you're looking at the top. This is the eyes here, so this is the top. Then I'm gonna turn it over because what I want to do, this was wood and I used a Sharpie marker to make it black. You could paint it or stain it or use a different color of wood, I don't know. So what I want to do is take every two strings, I just better double check that that's in the camera. Let's bring it closer. Okay, so we've got every, it's black gold, black gold all the way across, right? So I want to take two strings, I'm going to put one on the front of this dowel, one on the back. I'm going to make a knot, but I want to bring it down so that the knot hides behind the piece. It doesn't really look good when the fringe is on top, in my opinion. And you could make an envelope border and then you'd fold it over. Or you could sew these ends in, like take a needle and thread and bring them back down. Whatever you want to do is fine. But this is my option and I just thought I'd show you how I did it. So I bring, you just kind of play with your tension so that you keep it close here and you have to do at least two knots if you're really scared about it coming apart I would do three but there's quite a few um, strings here to hold it up so you don't necessarily need to worry that this one is taking all the weight so then you get your next two and I actually want to alternate the colors on the top so that when you're looking at it on the wall it'll look like black gold black gold black gold so I've put now gold on the front of my piece this is the back and you don't really need to have them too like tight, tight, tight. Just have to bring it down. That's the trick is just to keep it down here. And you go all the way across so that it's attached to your dowel. And it takes a while, which is kind of annoying for me. I don't know, I guess I don't really like fiddly things, but I feel like the other things that I was trying this looked really cool and it's worth it and that's why I made the pattern that way. So there it is. I'm just going to keep making knots but I'm going to make sure that they're not on the top of the wood. They're back here so that way when you hang it from the front you just see the strings. And if they're too long on the back you can trim them but for me right now I'm just going to worry about the knots. Black gold, black gold, black gold. Okay. Okay, so you can see I've been busy. I've got all my tails on the back. Looks pretty nice at the front. It's black gold, black gold all the way across. You might want to take the end, maybe two or maybe four, depends on how crazy your ends get. And you can, you can either knot them to these things or you can take a needle and weave them in because when you hang it, you might have them poking out. So just see how your tails are if they're getting crazy that's one trick there if you had done a chainless foundation row you will actually have an odd number of strings at the top if you had done chaining and single crochet back then you'll have an even number so i had an odd number actually which maybe you can see it if i set this down and you stare at it long enough let's see if i can center this i've been using black gold black gold black gold but somehow, at the end, I still had two to tie together. I didn't have an odd one. So the trick is that randomly in here, at some point, I cheated. And I threw one at the back. I didn't tie it to anything. I just threw it at the back. <laughs> because I wanted to keep the alternating colors, but I wanted the edges to be neat. And if you tried to tie three together, it makes the edge a little bit unneat. So here's the final piece. I took a string, just a black, 
and I made the string longer than my stick, but not too much longer. Depends on how much space you need. I make a knot for each end, and that's how I hang it. You can do something else. I'm sure there's tons of options if you don't like this one. This is just what I like to do because it uses the same string. It keeps things all the same. If you want it to hang, this will stretch so you don't make it too long. And that is our wall hanging. I hope you like him. He is going to be on Ravelry and Etsy. And there's tutorials for the techniques. This one is mosaic crochet. You can tell because the back is striped and the front is all they're stitched in and when you have interlocking the stitches are much um, fluffier so that'll be the difference but when you're using yarn this thin it might not make a difference for you anyway there you go